Hi right, guys, welcome back to another vlog. So this video here is going to be about me preparing for my next Brazilian Jiu Jitsu competition which is happening on the 8th of October. It's called the Malaysian Grappling League. And the last time I went to compete, I took some vlogs but I never really took the time to edit it and I just kind of abandoned that. So I'm starting fresh again with this brand new vlog. So today is the 1st of October. I have 8 days till my competition. And I only decided that I wanted to compete like two days ago. I'm still looking for something to actually um, push my limits. And I always felt that competition had this effect on me where I will go and put myself out there even though I'm not sure what's going to happen and I'm going to be pushing myself. And Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I still would say it's kind of new to me. I've only been doing this since 2019 and I only started competing this year in 2022. And the last competition that I did was back in May or June, somewhere around there. I kind of forgot. Yeah, so this is my second attempt at going for a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu competition. And today I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of my routine. And throughout the whole week, I'll be sharing a little bit of how I train and also what did I do to prepare for this competition. I have my brunch with me here. It's just eggs and tomato sauce. So right now I am 65.6 kilograms and the category that I will be competing in is 65 kilograms with my gi on. So my gi is 2 kilograms so I actually have to be at around 62 kgs to 63 kgs and to help out with this I might be wearing a lighter gi as well. So to prepare for my cut I only can eat protein and also vegetables. Thank God it's only for a week because the last competition that I did, I had to do it for a month and a half. So for the last competition, I had to cut from 68 kilograms all the way to 60 kilograms. So since this competition is in a week's time, I feel so much more relieved that I don't have to go through the whole process again. So right now I'm going to be going for a quick walk and I'm a little bit afraid that I won't be able to lose around 3 kilograms by the time I'm done. Uh, due to my last experience, I found that it was really hard for me to cut weight. So I'm just going to go for a quick walk and I am actually wearing 3 layers of clothing underneath to just get rid of more water from my body and increase the intensity of my workout. So nothing too crazy today. I'm just going to be walking around my housing area. I'm not going to be running because this is my first time doing this and I just want to gradually increase it slowly bit by bit. So we'll see how this goes out. So I actually have a secondary school reunion dinner that I have to attend while I am cutting wake. So this video here is going to be showing like what the types of food I can actually eat during special occasions such as this. So I also want to document the time that I actually come back to see some of my old schoolmates that I have not seen in a very long time. So let's go. I went to the reunion dinner yesterday and I may have ate a little bit too much. I wasn't so restrictive of the diet just because it was a social event and I haven't seen some of these guys for more than four to five years or so. So I think it's a reason to celebrate. While I still kept it under control, I was still eating protein, my vegetables and watching out for the carbs. And I just realized that my weight class division is 64 kilograms and it's not 65. I think I mentioned 65 but after checking it out I'm actually competing for 64 so I might need to cut to 62 to 63 kilograms in order to make the weight. We are five days away from MGL. 
Um, I checked my weight this morning, it was 65.2 So still making good progress, I have to get to 63 uh, Right now I'm actually cooking my lunch I'm eating chicken and hard boiled eggs and a little bit of vegetable And we are going to be training later at night yeah, so this is going to be my lunch. There's chickens, there's eggs, and there's also vegetables. So a few more days left before my competition. Yesterday while I was training, I was talking to Zay, my coach, about like what should the diet approach be this week and all, since we have such a short time frame. Um, previously, he told me to be eating protein, eating vegetables. But looking at the short time frame that we have this week, uh, he said I should actually be increasing the amount of vegetables I'm eating and keeping protein in moderation. So I can't be eating a crazy amount of protein like chicken right now, but I definitely can increase the intake of my vegetables because it is more difficult for the body to digest vegetables and it takes up more energy. And this is the approach that we're going for right now. And if I'm still not able to make weight, I'm going to be doing sauna every single night with him after the training session, just so that we can lose a couple more kilograms of weight. Uh, so during the meantime, I will just be editing videos. I'm trying to learn a little bit more about YouTube, so that's why I'm also doing this vlog. And right now, I'm just renewing, reviewing the vlog that I did from our trip to Penang, and I'm going to be posting this up today as well. <laughs> it would be nice if just one thing could happen in Birmingham. How long you have to do this, Nick? Do this for 45 minutes, and. The length of one Peaky Blinders episode, so I'm doing that while I'm doing this. So today is the last day of training. I'm currently at 64 kilograms and the division I'm fighting in is 64 kilograms. So in a matter of two days, I'm supposed to cut down an extra one kilogram. I'm not sure how that's gonna go. I am feeling a little bit dizzy if I'm being honest, but still we're just gonna try my best and see how can we make this work. So let's go to head to the gym. I realise I haven't been filming any footage of me training so hopefully we get some footage of me training today as well.
next workout meal. Thanks, dear. Hehe. <laughs> So I just checked my weight and I'm happy to say right now I'm standing at 62.8 kilograms. It's gonna fluctuate throughout the day but I'm pretty confident with my weight right now. Coach's advice for today is to just fast. So watch my water intake and also watch the intake of my food. And I think by tomorrow my weight should be fine. I might do a little bit of exercise later just to cut a little bit more of that water weight out. So right now, I'm actually going to be meeting my lecturer. We're going to go out for a little lunch. I won't be eating anything. I'll just be sitting there socializing with them. After that, I'll be coming back. I'll be packing up my stuff and I'll be heading down to KL from then. And by tonight, get a good night's rest. And tomorrow, it's go time. We're going to get it done. And we're going to eat some Star Place BBQ! So we just reached our accommodation, it's at Sky Suite at KLCC and uh, I'm going to take you around, look at the apartment a little bit so you can see there's the paintings, this is the living room, let me adjust that a little bit. Yeah, so right here is the living room, the tables, yeah, so we got the kitchen area, we got a workspace area. Close up the living room. So we got the bedroom that we'll be staying, and then there's just another two more bathrooms like here and there. So excited for competition day. It's gonna be happening tomorrow. Um, I am making weight. You know, I'm the last I checked, I was 62.6. So I'm already making weight. So hopefully tomorrow we keep it up as well. Um, planning to leave here around 8 a.m. in the morning. It's going to take 40 minutes to get to Star Avenue Mall and hopefully we're going to get there around 8.30ish to 9 a.m. Yeah. From there, I'm just going to start warming up, drilling a bit and by 10 o'clock, my match is going to start and it'll be a total of three rounds. My first round is going to be with this guy named Nelson Warner and I'm pretty excited about this match actually to see how I perform. Um, from the previous MGL match, so it's going to be really exciting and I hope everything goes smoothly, I guess. Alright, good morning guys. It's the day of competition and I didn't realize this but outside our apartment view is... Is it uh? It's KLCC. Isn't that right, Ian? That's right. <laughs> Oh my, hey, your hair look messy there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, last standing at a weight of, I think I'm, how old am I? 62.5? Right now? Yeah, I don't know, 62.1. Ah, 62.1, so we're ready to go. So I, I'll only be fighting two matches, so it's only 10 minutes of fighting today, so everything will go well, and it's gonna be well, and by the time we're done with this, we can finally get some food in. Alright, so let's go. Os. Os. <laughs> What? 
are uni, so I am from uh, Human Resource Management. Finally, food! Okay, so we just finished lunch. I've been craving for something that has soup for the past few days now. At, at the mama, they only have Maggie soup, so I had to bear with it. Oh man, the exposure is off. Yeah, so I ordered my Maggie soup and then that's all I had to work with. So maybe later at night, we're going to get some dinner that's going to have some soup in it. So I'm happy for that. But overall, very happy with my performance here at MGL. I clinched gold here today and I'm really excited and I'm like, just really grateful for all the people that actually helped me out to prepare for this competition the past few weeks. When people have to go to work but no place to park and then they have to go find parking and all that also is a hassle parking inside the Right now, we're going to be heading on to Star Place BBQ. I've been craving this place for the whole entire week. And right now, we are finally going to be able to eat some Korean BBQ! Star Place BBQ! Come on. Star Place, bro! Checking out a bit of Bukit Bintang area. So we're checking out more of Bukit Bintang area. I mean, I've been to this area a couple of times but I never really explored it. We parked our stuff near, we parked the car at Ramada which is Milton's place and now we're just going to be checking out Bukit Bintang. Sasuke. Uh, I like Naruto's, yeah. How about you? I think it's like the first season of the game. Oh, look, they got like the Sakura and all this sort of thing too. Damn, that's nice. <laughs> Flying duck. Like, what type of duck is that? Oh my god! So right now we're going to check out this place called Restaurant Jajantas Aikuro. Basically it translates into Restaurant Bridge Aikuro. It's a R&R &R stop from K on the way that is on the way from KL to Malacca. And I've always passed by this place but it's my first time actually stopping by and checking it out so I'm really excited. So let's go around and check out this place. We have a KFC up here. We got what we have here. We have A and W up here. Woo. Yeah, we decided to start with this place, soup mulatop kambing baka. And we got bakso daging. Amanda's got her rice. And she's got his food. 